Okay, here we're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to graph data in Logger Pro and to linearize it for your assignment. So if you look over here, I have a sample data set which includes gaming time or screen time versus your GPA. So we have our, G our data set here. First thing we want to do is determine which one is going to be our independent and which one will be our dependent variable. So kind of thinking about the experiment or what might have been measured here, uh, the gaming time is probably what was controlled by the experimenter and then the GPA was measured as a result. So that would make our gaming time our independent variable and go on our x-axis and the GPA would be our dependent variable, what was measured as a result, and that would be going on our y-axis. So that's what I've done here in LARPRO. I've taken that data set and I've just typed the, typed the numbers in just to kind of speed up the video a little bit. All right, so we have our data set. We can see that LogarPro has already begun to graph the data here, so we can see this relationship. Um, first thing that we're going to want to do is to change the column headings on the data because we don't want to just use X and Y anymore. So if you hover on it, you can see the help um, pop-up comes up. Just double-click on it, so double-click on it, and you get the dialog box for the column options. You can also access this uh, through the data Hold down menu here, you get to the same place. So we want to change the name of it to what we're looking at, and this is gaming time. Uh, we want to give it a short name, we'll call it T sub G. Uh, over here, there's a pull down box where you can do Greek upper and lowercase letters if that's what you're using, and you can also do subscripts and superscripts for numbers only. Uh, next up, you want to make sure that you put the units in. It's very tempting to skip all these steps, but they actually do make your life a little bit easier in the long run because we will always be analyzing these units, so it's really important to include them. So the gaming time is in uh, hours uh, per week. And we'll click done on that. And you can see that that has been updated on the graph, gaming time in hours per week. And on the y-axis, we're going to change that. That's going to be GPA. The short name will keep it the same, and the units here will be points. So all good there, and you can see that that got updated already. So it's pretty obvious that you can tell that this graph is an inverse relationship, but perhaps sometimes it's not so quite so obvious. Uh, even if you just looked at maybe this data set, this portion of the data over here, you might think that's a, a good linear fit. You need to uh, test it and look to see how well correlated the data is. So to find out uh, its correlation, you want to do a linear fit, and you can do that a couple of different ways. If you go under the analog, Analyze tab, you can find linear fit right there, or you can find the shortcut key right up here in the top menu bar. So I'll click on linear fit, and you can see it tries to fit these data points to a linear line. And if we look at the correlation right here, 0.8588, we can probably do better. In fact, we would want to attempt to do better. And sometimes it's not as obvious as this data set, so you have to try some different things. So this is telling me that's the correlation, or how well, when we look at something, test something to see how well correlated it is, we're basically testing it to see how well does it fit a linear line. So this one does not do that, so we are going to uh, do a linear regression. So I'm just going to move this uh, table out of the way and pop this open and we're going to add a new calculated column because uh, Logger Pro can do these calculations for us. So this uh, shape of this graph uh, indicates that we should try an inverse relationship. That means we want to take the inverse of the gaming time. So we're going to focus on the x-axis. So if we go up here to data, new calculated column, and we're going to again give it a name. So we're going to look at one over the gaming time. Uh, short name, we'll do the same, 1 divided by TG. And then the units for gaming time is hours per week. So whatever I do to the numbers, I have to do to the units. So if it, gaming time was in hours per week, this is going to be weeks per hour. So we want to make sure that we include that. Most important part is the expression. This is where LogarPro is going to do the calculation. So we're going to take 1 divided by, and we want to divide it by this entire array of data up here. So we have to choose that column or that array. So I do 1 divided by, that's just typing it in normally, and here's where I'm going to choose that array of data. So I'm going to select gaming time, and then I'll click done. And you see the data popped up here. So uh, Liar Pro doesn't do anything with it unless you tell it, so now I'm going to create a new graph. So I'm going to insert a new graph, and it's kind of small here, so I'm going to stretch it a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I can just tile it move it out of the way. 
Um, and now I want to put GPA on the y-axis and I want 1 over gaming time on the x-axis. So all you have to do is hover over it and again that, that yellow pop-up box will come up. I click on it and I will choose GPA and then over here hover on it, click 1 over gaming time. Okay, I can see my data set now, but it's kind of scrunched in. So we want to scale the data so that our data really fills our graph. That is well presented data. This is not, so, sometimes can be more difficult to see any type of relationship if I don't scale the, the, the graph properly. So in order to scale it, you want to come up again to the analyze and you're going to go down to auto scale and we're going to auto scale from zero. In physics, it's important to make sure that we always have zero, zero at the bottom corner. We don't do these little squiggly line things that sometimes you did in a math class. You always want to have zero, zero as the bottom left corner. And now we're looking at our data set and we can see that this looks like a fairly straight line. I'm going to check to see how well correlated it is by doing a linear fit. And oh, look at that. It is perfectly correlated, has a correlation of 1.00. So that's what we wanted to look at in order to look at the linear data set. Um, if we look some information that comes from the slope in this pop-up box, it'll tell you the slope of your line, in this case is 3.8, and it gives you the units also associated with it, so you don't really even have to think about it because you have typed it in. So it's kind of a nice feature that it gives you the value of the slope there. So that's all you need to do in order to linearize the data set. Uh, one more thing uh, that should always be included whenever you're going to submit these data is uh, graphs is you should always include a title on your graph. Um, that's pretty obvious. Just hover your mouse over the graph, double click on it, and you'll get the graph options here. You can change some different things like what you want to graph. You can select different things that way. You can scale it a little bit. But if you click on graph options, you can give it a title. The title should always be whatever your y variable is versus whatever your x variable is. So in this case, it would be GPA uh, versus uh, uh, let's just call it 1 over gaming time. So we'll call it like that. And then it will give us a data. And then again, also for this graph, we're going to go to graph options and we're going to call it GPA versus gaming time here. And then we have titles on all of our graphs. So now it's a matter of cut and pasting into a Google Doc so that you can upload it. Sounds good.